Okay, so I was on a beginner's group and I saw this question recover my SD card. These groups always have actually great questions that, that should be addressed. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick video and give you five tips to ever avoid problems again with this that 20 years of experience have taught. The first is if you see any problem with the card, take it out, save it, stop using it, don't erase it, don't format it, okay? That's step number one. If the card's not reading photos, as long as it's not physically just like shattered, probably it's just some kind of an error and the files are still there. Number two, get a legit recovery tool. This means basically nothing that's going to show up on the first pages of search engines because this is a huge market and it's all basically like freeware, spamware kind of stuff that's trying to get your money. Get a legit tool. Something like Reclaim Me is good if you want to get a little more intense, enterprise and nerdy, something like our studio. These are apps that are considered legit by professionals. I will not be putting any affiliate links or anything in this video for these kind of apps because that's the problem is most of the videos recommending this stuff are just spamming something. They're just shilling for a company. So I have nothing to gain here. This is just what I've learned from a lot of years of trying to find apps that are actually legit. Number three, be patient. Don't just do the fast scan. If it doesn't come up right away, let it do a deep scan, leave it overnight if you need to. Have some patience and just let it kind of truck away on the card and recover cover everything it can. Number four kind of cuts us back to number two, and that is if you did download one of these cheap freeware, try it and pay later kind of softwares, and sometimes those will get files, but a lot of times they won't get them. If you did try them and it didn't get them or it didn't get them all, don't give up. Go find one of the more legit ones, like I mentioned, or like you find in forum threads and reddits, things where actual pros are discussing this, not where people have something to gain. Try a good app and see what you get out of it, because oftentimes it will shock you. Last but not least, and this is really how you avoid the problems, number five is always back up quickly from a session. This is not the film days where you just have a roll of film and you're relying on the lab, you're relying on not something going wrong. Most of the pro and prosumer cameras lately have a dual card slot, and if yours does, you should already have it set up. Writing the same images to both cards. And if you do that, you'll almost never even have this problem. Now, sure, have a recovery software on hand. Although the truth is I back up enough that most of the time I'm using that recovery software to help friends and family, not my own cards. Although there has been times when I did an accidental delete of something that I forgot to copy or something like that. Usually something non-critical because if it's a real session, I'm always copying and backing up immediately. Those are my five tips so that you can save your bacon and I hope you found them useful. If you like this, hit that like and subscribe. This was a very unofficial video today. I just saw this question and I thought, you know what? I know a lot of people have that same problem. Let's talk about it because I've seen this a lot of times. All right, you guys, peace.